Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I thought I'd give you guys a little short tutorial on how to set up NVENC, which is the NVIDIA encoder, on OBS Studio. Now, if you've seen the top left, I'm currently running off of OBS 0.14.2, which is the newest as of May 17th, when this was recorded. And I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys some of my uh, local recording uh, tips and setups. You know, just to show you guys some stuff I thought you might find really intriguing. Okay, this is how I have my local recording set up. I find it to be the easiest, most simplistic, and in fact, the best quality, at least, that I've seen. Uh, let me show you guys a couple things. Obviously, uh, I changed my recording format. By default, this is set on FLV. I set it to MP4 because this helps the, uh, well, the container that the video is in, the video, video file, will... It'll, it'll work better in like a Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere if you run it in MP4 rather than FLV, so that's why I usually go with that. Um, I set my audio track to 2 on purpose because my second audio track has a higher bitrate than my first audio track. Why do I do that? Because if I were streaming and I had it all set up for the first audio track, I could have the second audio track while I'm broadcasting to be recording in a better quality. Alright, the NVIDIA encoder. This is very simple, very easy. Um, if you have an NVIDIA video card, you will have this available in your encoder settings. Obviously select it. Um, I have my video settings set to 1080p, 60 frames per second, and the downscale filter I have set to bilinear because there is no point if you're not scaling. So, alright, now check this out. Local recording. Usually you want it set to VBR, in my opinion, because what VBR does is it's, a, it's called variable bitrate. Your bitrate will skyrocket whenever there's stuff going on in your games, and if there's nothing going on, the bitrate will go down. This will save a lot when it comes to actual the actual size of the file. Uh, bitrate, I usually have it set to about 30,000, but if you want to, I would set it to about 40,000 as well if you want it to be like lossless perfect. Now check this out. There is a setting in here. Uh, I Get exactly where it's at. I gotta find it. But there's a setting somewhere for uh, lossless quality. I think it was a preset, and they might have removed it for, from an update because it wasn't finished yet. But uh, keyframe interval on two. That 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 really doesn't matter. Zero two. Your local recording, so it really doesn't matter. But bit rate thirty thousand. Uh, I usually set the preset to Blu-ray because it comes out in the best quality and it doesn't lag at all. Uh, one other thing about this local recording. Um, if you're using the NVIDIA encoder, the quality itself usually, well, I'm sorry, the amount of processing usage. If you see right here, down here in the bottom right, I'm using about 1.9, 2.3 just to render this background. Whenever you're doing local recording, it'll, in my uh, usually about, uh, it'll usually use about between 3 to 5 percent of your processor. Usually about between 3 to 5 percent, which is really good for those who have single set up computers that want to be able to local record and to be able to play their games at the same time. So, okay. Uh, level auto, usually it'll set itself to about 4.0, 4.1 because you're doing 1080p at 60 frames per second, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Two-pass encoding comes out in a better quality, so I would leave it like that. And GPU zero, this is just to tell OBS which video card you want to start encoding with like say if you've had if you have an SLI set up with two video cards You can set it to GPU 0 for the first video card and GPU 1 would be the second video card and so on and so forth And it's really that simple um, 1080p 60 frames per second and I was doing a local recording I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the quality and how this comes out now. This is at 30 frames. I'm sorry 60 frames per second and I thought I'd go ahead and show this to you guys. This is how the quality actually comes out when you're messing with this. Now the video might lag a little bit because of display capture that I'm using to record this, but rest assured the quality is fantastic. This is what it looks like. This is how it plays. And I have no lag in any of the games that I play and the quality comes out looking fantastic. Uh, this is currently Black Mesa if nobody knows what this game is. And I love the quality it puts out. I did some local recordings of the new Doom, and they just look flawless, especially if I'm playing multiplayer and going really fast with lots of debris, lots of blood, lots of, lots of shooting everywhere. It just looks fantastic. 
And if you guys want to do this yourself, like I said, about a 30,000 to a 40,000 bit rate, and you should do fine. Now, for those that are wondering about actual size of the files, the f size of the files will be pretty big. I'm not going to lie. Um, I did a local recording of the new Doom that was about, let me see, let me go back here. That was about 45 minutes long, and it ended up taking about 10 gigs of space. Now, for anybody who does local recording on YouTube on a regular basis, that would seem kind of big, but at the same time, it's really not that big. 10 gigs of space in 45 minutes, that's really not bad at all, at least in my opinion. But if that is kind of shocking to you, you could probably turn down the quality, turn down the settings. Or if you have a separate computer, you could run and do X264. But this is what the quality looks like. And I just thought I'd go ahead and show this off and see what you guys thought. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I'm going to be doing one here on how to set up Intel QuickSync here soon. So I'll see you guys soon.